So season 14 in all of its greatness has been on the PB for around a week now, and honestly the changes are really great. No more mythics, new map changes, new items, mages are back, assassins are back maybe? But while I was trying to test the new items out I had the weirdest experience because in every single game I played there was at least one player who kept doing this. Now, this is one of the new items, Experimental Hexplate, and its premise is pretty simple. It gives you ability haste, but only on your ultimate. Well, pretty quickly after the release of this on PBE, players figured out that if you sell it and quickly undo it, you get to keep the ability haste even if you don't have the item. And it also stacks. Which is, you know, fine and all, the PBE is for finding bugs and testing gameplay after all, but the unfortunate part of this incident is that this has been in the game untouched for a full week now, without the item being fixed or disabled. This has led to pretty easily over half of the PBE player base knowing about this by now, so games have more or less devolved into two people just insta-locking Karthus and pressing R over and over again at each other. Just so you can get an idea of how impactful this bug actually is, in this game I played, Karthus's R starts out at about 150 seconds here, and then after doing the bug it's down to 33 seconds at only 11 minutes into the game. The reason it stops at 33 seconds and doesn't keep stacking infinitely is just because there's a hard cap on ability haste at 500, that's all. Seeing how the community has reacted to this though is probably one of the best things because it's been in the game for so so long there's kind of like a whole mini meta forming around it, with people now locking in Soraka and doing the bug so they can counter every Karthus R with an R of their own. Of course Karthus isn't the only culprit for abusing this bug, Lethality Caitlyn, Jinx and Cassidy have also been pretty popular. For Cassidy in particular the alt cooldown is so short that even the auto refresh mana function on the PBE can't keep up with it. So this game I played where I was trying to test out the new items, Lux and Karthus were both abusing the bug. Let's have a look so we can see what it looks like in game and also count how many ults we can spot. So yeah, as you could imagine, it's pretty hard to playtest the new items on the PBE right now. I was also pretty lucky in this game that the Karthus and Lux weren't fed, so every time I got Karthus art, it just kind of did 100 damage, but you kind of get the point. It's also kind of led to every single time someone sees someone doing this bug and there's a Karthus or someone on the other team, the game will just sort of get FF'd at 15 minutes, which, you know, is understandable. Because it's been like this for so long, there are some people who are calling for anyone bug abusing to be banned. I personally can kind of understand if someone just goes into a game once to test it out, but honestly, if you're queuing up 24-7 with the intention of abusing it to win PBE games, then you're a bit of a goblin. Let me know what you think down in the comments below though, and if this bug has impacted your games. As always, if you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.